see my tutorial today I will discuss about uh, the data how we need to be save data into the application as well as into the keychains so which we need to be preferred to saving the data if the, the, the data is the confidential and very precious for the users as a developer I suggest you all we should we should save all data into the keychain because the keychain always saving data into the encrypted formats but if we are using other way like user default and that, that is also saving data but that is that will not the encrypted format and uh, anyone can see uh, uh, what we have data into the applications when we are going to remove the applications the data will be removed if we are saving data into the user default because the user default always saving data into the application not into the out of the applications so so we have to prefer as a developers keychains because uh, the data will not hack will not uh, see any other way of applications using uh, through the through the other application to uh, to hack the user credential other things like stripe and payment things we are using the payment with the with the applications also so we have to start so let's see you can see uh, what need to be added i have uh, created a demo projects that's the projects uh, when we are uh, when we provide the actions and uh, there is there is the password near at uh, 123 and uh, we have uh, we have created into the data formats it's converted into the data and the data will be saved into the keychains what we have here is uh, I have created the NS object class type of this. So let's uh, we'll discuss with the initial way. So I just need to be show you all what we have save the password and that password with the key pa with the key of passwords and uh, we are fetching the gate keychain data. There is another uh, functions which uh, which we are getting the data from the keychains all right uh, let's see what we have displayed the password player at one two three so let's uh, do with the initial way what we have we have import uh, the security and uh, security is uh, providing the many f uh, libraries which need to be added with the sec trust and cipher suit also which is the encrypted format cipher text and uh, let's uh, i have created the keychain services and a subject type of class uh, and a subject type of class and the, there is the another functions which uh, i have added the save what we have there is the there is need to be when we are adding the any data with the help of key there is a type of a string and uh, we return the OS status. OS status basically this is the data type of integers 32 bits. You can see when we are going to the definitions on it 32 integer type of data type 32 bits type of data. So let's create a query that query is basically uh, generate the password key uh, that is the key sec class which is generating the passwords and uh, the, the the type of uh, strings and uh, what we need to the another key sec attribute account so that account i have created the account into the key since with the help of the key there is the unique there should be the unique key for that account to saving your data so what we need to be saved there should be the key sec value data 
there is the key sec value data and uh, there is there is also type of data and all keys should be as a dictionary that is the string of any so if uh, there is uh, there is already that key when i am going to be added on the key chains if uh, that key already is there so uh, there should be the deleted uh, for that query and again in in that query we need to be add with the new values of the data so sec item add this will be the add of query with the help of the key and saving the data and now second we need to be create another uh, function that uh, when we are going to be fetch data uh, key key chain get key chain data so with the help of the key so there is uh, always written to always written the data the data what we have we need to be create also a query to be find out uh, key sec class the same thing that class will be added with the strings and uh, we generating a password for that also and which is already save into the into the key chains that uh, that account is matching with the key then then will uh, if it will be true then uh, that match limit one that will be find out uh, the data what we have here is and now we are creating another object that uh, there is the any object type it may be the integer a string and any type of objects there should be and now uh, i have created another variables that is the os status because uh, i have returning when we are saving the data the type of os status all right so i fetch select item with the matching of the key that query will be uh, that query will be added here uh, that type of uh, cf dictionary and what we have the data type reference that will be the reference on it and if we don't if we don't have this status it means it will return the nil values if have if there is no error it means we have a value for that key so we are we can return the values all right so now we have to back into the v controller so wh what i have done here is i have done with the this is the static uh, password i have added here so you can dynamically when do you have the user id and password uh, into the sign up application your uh, sign in applications all right so let's uh, i have uh, i have converted into the data with the utf8 all right and uh, that uh, that uh, data will be saved with the key of passwords so key chains you can see that key chains is the common class that is the ns object type of class we are inherit these class of functions this class of functions so i can f i can find out the save class the save with the save is here is and uh, key with the password key and data want to save the password data here is the data and now when i am going to be actions what i have save into the key chains the same functions same class will be called here and i need to be call this way this one because with the oh, with the help of key that key is the password so we can find out what i have saved into the key chains so result what i have needed the password i need to be decode it decode with the utf8 because the save also data into the format of utf8 all right so label this is the outlet of the label will be result so let's you can see here is what i have we can you can sorry we can cancel you can change the value 89345 something like this so save this is the another value for this key so we need to be 
we can see the another password with the with this key let's hope the password will be saved into the kitchen display so we can see in here at one two three eight and blah blah all right so i think uh, i think we understand what the kitchens will be works and how it will work and how we can save the data into the kitchen and how we can get the data from the kitchens with the same key all right so hope you all guys understood the things how we are saving data all right so guys if you like it you can subscribe and comment below if you have any query don't forget subscribe and like thanks bye bye take care